It's changed the things we expect as we're traveling around. For example, one of the things we wanted to create with the iPhone is a phone that was not only a great phone and a great iPod, but one that you could surf the web from anywhere. And look what's happened. The data's in. It's incredible. Two-thirds of all mobile browsing is done on an iPhone or iPod Touch. That's amazing. It's also changed the things people want to do with their phone and, and those amazing applications that you all make. We now, in just a short while, expect this and are so excited by all the things they can do. And it's really been great in the iPhone and the App Store. I can't help but draw an example of how it's been going. Scott told you 50,000 applications on the App Store. Uh, these numbers are from this weekend. We looked up on the stores. The Android store is approaching 5,000 apps. Nokia has their OV store, and, and not all the apps run on all the phones. It's really complicated, so we took a lot of the phones and added them together to make a bigger number. Um, <laughs> Blackberry is broke 1,000, and somebody else, uh, I, not quite, I can't read it, it's small. Uh, it's also changed. What people expect from their phones. People expect a great phone now with a great experience. They want to love their phone again, just like we've loved our personal computers. And we've received just incredible awards for the iPhone 3G. In fact, I, I really think the iPhone 3G is the first, the first phone that, that both business and consumers can love in one phone. So the iPhone 3G has been great. And that's why I'm really excited to tell you about an entirely new version, the iPhone 3GS. Now the S, the, the S simply stands for, it stands for speed, because this is the most powerful, fastest iPhone we've ever made. It has the same great design of the iPhone 3G that we just launched last summer, but what's inside is entirely new. This is a really fast iPhone. Everything you do all day long, you'll find incredible speed ups. For example, something as simple as launching a messaging application, 2.1 times faster. Loading a game like SimCity, 2.4 times faster. Viewing attachments and emails like an Excel attachment, 3.6 times faster. Going to a graphically intense JavaScript website like the New York Times, 2.9 times faster. Now these are all speeds against an iPhone 3G running the still to be released 3.0 software. So we really made sure it was against the highest benchmark. And that last example, the web, I mean something we do every day is getting so fast. Scott showed you the numbers of JavaScript running on an iPhone OS 3.0 phone and it gets even faster with the 3GS. We go from 126 to 43 on an iPhone OS on a 3G phone. On a 3GS phone, it's now 15 seconds. Approximately three times faster yet again. A lot of things are this fast. Now, not everything. So you're going to see an average across using the phone of up to two times faster. But as I just showed you, a lot of things even faster than that. And there's some great performance technologies in here, too. For example, game developers who want to create even richer gaming experience but have great game performance are going to find the 3GS. Now it's OpenGL ES 2.0. And as carrier networks around the world roll out the latest generation 3G networks, you're going to find the 3GS phone is ready for that, too, with built-in 7.2 megabit per second HSDPA. So the new iPhone 3GS is a really fast phone. It also has amazing features. For example, there's a brand new built-in camera. Now the camera is another way that the iPhone 3G has really changed how people use their cell phones. For example, if you look at a popular photo sharing site, in this case Flickr, you see this is daily number of users loading photos from cell phones. The iPhone three and a half times more than any other cell phone. It's really changed how we can take pictures and share them on the go. Well, on the new iPhone 3GS, there's a brand new three megapixel autofocus camera. <laughs> it takes pictures that are even larger, even more beautiful. For example, this photo, the Golden Gate Bridge. This photo right here was taken on an iPhone 3GS. It has amazing hardware and software that work together as Apple as is known to do. We make these things work hand in hand, and this has auto focus, auto white balance, auto exposure to take just a gorgeous photo for you. 
In addition to autofocus, we've got a great feature called tap to focus. So if I'm composing my photo, for example, in this case, I want a photo, photo that focuses on the house, I just tap the house and it's in focus, and we balance the exposure for that. I want to take a picture of the, photo, the flower, I just tap it, and now it's in focus, and the, and the photo's balanced as well. We've also improved low light sensitivity, so at night or indoors, you can take even better pictures with better light sensitivity. And the autofocus brings along a really great feature, auto macro as well. So now we'll automatically take a, a macro fo photo of something as close as 10 centimeters away. Again, all these photos were taken with the iPhone 3GS. Look at that flower, that's just a stunning photo. It's an incredible camera. And as before, there is an API so you developers can take advantage of this camera in your application. And any of you who use that API get these f features for free in your application. But the best thing about this camera is it also captures video. So how does that work? It's as easy as can be. You simply go into the camera application and there you'll see a new switch on the bottom right hand that says still or movie. And you flick to what you want to take, press the button and now rather than capture, it's record and it's recording video, 30 frame a second VGA with audio right on your iPhone. And like the still camera, it's auto focus, auto white balance, auto exposure. So now, with, whenever you have your iPhone with you, you have a video camera and you can take whatever you'd like around the house. You can take videos with you everywhere you go. It's just as simple as that. That was taken on an iPhone 3GS. You just tap to record and when you're done, where are the videos? Well, they're right alongside your photos in the picture application. When you go into the application, you see a new timeline at the top where you can see your video and you can scrub along with your finger to find the exact moment you want to show. You can also edit it just with a tap of your finger. Yes, you can drag in the beginning point, the end point, and press trim. And the best thing, just like with the still camera, the best thing is you can now share it with anyone right here from your iPhone. I tap the share button and I can send this in an email. If my carrier supports it, I can send it in MMS as well. <laughs> I can put it up on mobile me in the gallery and all my friends and family can see it there. I can push it right up to YouTube. All of that with a simple tap of your finger. So video on the iPhone, just like photos, are gonna change how people use their cell phones. And I think very quickly, you're gonna see the iPhone 3GS, just like the iPhone 3G was with pictures, becoming the most popular camera, or video camera being used on a cell phone on all the sites where people share video. And best of all for developers, just like the still camera, there's an API as well, so you can build in video capture right into your applications. There's another great feature, we call it voice control. Wouldn't it be great to be able to dial friends and family just with the sound of your voice? With an iPhone 3GS you can. It's the simplest thing. You're in an application, anywhere on your iPhone, you hold down the home button, and after just a second, a brand new user interface pops up. The voice control interface. It's really cool. There's a waveform right across the center that shows the amplitude of your voice as it's being listened to by the iPhone and talk about easy to use, the commands you can make are scrolling by right on the screen so you know what to say. <laughs> so if I want to make a phone call, I just say, call Scott Forstall. Scott